So Fanbo, tell yep. me about your uh, experience here at the G League Showcase. Uh, first of all, it's a great opportunity for me and uh, learn, play with those guys. They have been in the league for a couple of years and uh, it's a great proce process for me to learn from every game. And uh, we have some tough days, but we stay together, we're learning. You, you had probably your best game of the season yesterday. You yeah. came in, you knocked down a couple of threes, you got a dunk, you got a big block, you brought big energy off the bench. Uh, you know, what was that like for you? Before the game, I was out like two weeks. I had a, a twist my ankle, I had a booster shot. It takes like two weeks to recovery and just bring the energy from the bench. I'm, like, I'm hungry from the game. I want to play, just, just do all I, all I can do. What is your role on this team? Uh, you just got to listen to coach, you know. To, we got to do everything coach tells us to do, just finish our best. We've seen you play a lot of different positions. Yeah. Um, you know, you guys had some injuries in the front court. You're playing three, four, five, everywhere yeah. on the floor. Um, has that been good for you, been able to learn all the different positions? Yeah, of course. Uh, all the positions, all the uh, positions I got to know. I got to know the pace. I got to know where I should be on the court. And uh, like, that's, that's all we do for the team. We're trying to get a win, but we had we have not a good game, but we're learning. When you are playing well, and when you're at your best, um, what are some of the things that you're doing out there on the court? You know, on my team, you had Jaden Hardy and Skula. They had all the, all the score. And just trying to get, get open. When the help go, I'll be open on the three. I'll be ready to shoot the ball. When I was on the court, I was trying to run down the back, trying to hustle, and go for a rebound. What is like a regular day for you guys? What are some of the things that you get to do off the court that maybe we don't know about that you know helps you with your basketball development? Uh, after all the practice, is we gonna have some uh, like uh, nutrition, some meeting, some meeting class, media class, and uh, I'm gonna take like a whole day. And after dinner, we might gonna watch the film, watch the NBA games, to learn from films, and uh, that's the most important part for me. Who are some of the NBA guys that you enjoy watching this year? Uh, of, course, of course, the Warriors right now. Like, like everybody can play like smart basketball on their team. They pass Kyle, and uh, most likely I watch like Toscano a lot. Though. Toscano Anderson. Yeah. What is it about him that you like? Like. Like he's not the best player on the team, but he's trying to do all he can do. He pass and cut, and uh, he do everything on the court. A smart player. Right. What is your goal for the rest of the season? I learn from uh, each every day, even on court or off the court, from practice. The biggest goal is just go to draft and then get drafted. What um, you know, what's it been like having? these veteran guys on the team that you know played in the NBA to, to, to help you out? Uh, that helps out a lot. I mean, when we, get on, when we get on the bench, they keep telling us what to do, what should, what should I not do. And uh, not even on the court, off the court, they tell us how to become a pro. From uh, whatever you, where you're at, you got to stay in shape, something like that. Every single detail they tell us to, yeah. What's been the biggest transition for you? What's you know what's been the most challenging part uh, on the court? Uh, first of all, it's the language, of course. And uh, I've been in China like two years. We don't speak English out, out there. And also, it's a pretty different style between here and China. Pretty faster, more, more attractive, and yeah, that's most likely. Uh, I mean, the, this pace that you know they they play today is that you know. It, having to make so many decisions so quickly on both ends of the court is that how long does that take to get to get used to because obviously you know playing high school I mean that it's not the same speed of game right yeah of course it's gonna take time but that's what young players should do you know like we gotta learn we gotta remember when we, miss, when we make the mistake like we should cut we should shoot the ball we gotta learn from film that's where we learn that What's the atmosphere like on the team, like off the court? What is it? Uh, off the court, what is like the, the atmosphere on the team with, you know, just being around the guys oh. when you guys aren't playing or practicing? I mean, 
after after the practice, we have like a couple of hours to hang out before the dinner. We, we might stay in the gym, or after dinner, we might just go in each other's room or just hang out with each other. Awesome, great stuff, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks.